Hey everyone, Merry Christmas to you and Happy Holidays. This is a very special video and probably the last video you're going to see till the end of the year until I come back in February of 2021. I wanted to come on and show all the records that I'd gotten for Christmas. This is from various things. Some of these you've seen before. Some of them uh, I briefly talked about, but I can go a little more in depth. So uh, buckle up, it's gonna be a long one. So we're gonna start off first with, this is a replacement for my copy, this is. Uh, Cowboy Bebop, the original series soundtrack, music by Seatbelts. I've gotten into this before, kind of a little more in depth, but we finally got my replacement copy. So my copy finally got the hype sticker. I'm gonna be watching this one and uh, seeing if this one sounds better than the one I got, but it's pretty good. So I'm, I'm glad that I got a replacement copy. There is still a minor crease, but it's not as bad as the one before it. But very glad to have a replacement copy of this. We're going to keep this train rolling right along. You saw this in the video just before this one. It's rolling. Queen's Greatest Hits. This is from Marikin. Very happy for this one. This is 45 RPM Half Speed Master Cut It Abbey Road Studios. Um, yeah. If you want to see this one more in depth, watch the video before this one. The New Abnormal by The Strokes. Again, I'm being very brief on this one because I talked about this one before. This is Mila Jovovich's The Divine Comedy. But now, I can actually show you the record company Orange Cream Sickle Vinyl. So now I actually... <laughs> get to listen to all of these because the embargo for Christmas has been lifted. The next one, we're gonna keep things uh, moving here. Volbeat's Hocus Bonus. This is on a very pretty smoky clear wax. And I absolutely love the inner labels. This was probably the one that I was most excited to hear, but I am, it's uh, pretty much going to be doing a epic cleaning session shortly after this video goes live. My Chemical Romance's Life on the Murder Scene. I've already shown the back before, but I gotta say I love the custom inner sleeve. And it is on a very beautiful clear and blood splatter wax. Very excited, but this is not the last you'll see of My Chemical Romance. Oh no. And this is not the last you'll see of this band either. Up next is Allison Chains's Sap. This was another record store day piece. Again, if you want to see me talk a little more in depth uh, on it, watch the uh, Black Friday record store day video. But it is on black wax, but it does come with this really nice etching. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it on camera, but it's this really nice OG logo etching. This is done by Chris Bowman at Bernie Grundman Mastering. So I'm very excited to hear uh, the mix on this one. I heard a couple of great things on Discogs about this one, so very excited for that. Gonna keep things rolling here. Alice in Chains facelift. Finally, a remaster. This is a single pocket uh, double LP album both on black wax with a custom inner label for both. I filmed a video for this one. This is Taylor Swift's Folklore, but I ended up not uh, putting this out just because of time crunch reasons. But this is the In the Garden pressing, well, Betty's Garden pressing. It comes with two very nice Custom inner label, inner, inner label, inner sleeves with all the lyrics attached. It's also on a really nice gatefold, like really nice. If you want to pause and take a look at any of these, uh, songs i uh, leave a little bit of time from now on for you to do so one of the videos i plan on doing when i get back is my top 10 for the year 
So uh, expect to see at least that one one more time here on the channel. Videos this year I had stated about, really talked about a record that I could not show um, because of time. Uh, it was kind of essentially on embargo until Christmas. And uh, this was on one of my Record Start A drop videos. But uh, the Ramones, it's Alive 2. This is a two LP set, uh, first time on vinyl. Uh, it is recorded at uh, live at the Victoria Hall in the 1977 UK tour, limited edition of 8,000. And I have 2587. Comes on really nice black wax, uh, double poly lined inner sleeves. I love that. It's a really nice gatefold. I'll show the gatefold in just a second, but it does have a very cool etching. I don't know how well you can see that. I'm gonna try and tilt the light here so you can see it. But I'm excited to take a listen to this one. This is actually my first legitimate Ramones release. So I, I really do like live releases. And if this one excites me, I will dig more into the catalog. Cover, here's the back cover. And the gatefold. I really like this gatefold a lot. I was on a live stream uh, video episode talking about this particular band. And I've uh, gotten a copy of something else for myself. This is Van Halen's 1984. This is the 30th anniversary edition. Um, lacquer's cut by Chris Bowman at Bertie Grunman Mastering Remastered from the original Master Tapes. It is uh, black vinyl on the Warner logo. It does keep the um, the old style, uh, the original uh, inner sleeves and everything. So very glad to have some Van Halen. And I'll wait it is my one of my favorite Van Halen songs. It's on here. I cannot wait to see uh, Chris's work on that album. This one came from Rican. This is No Doubts, Tragic Kingdom, classic ska album on the custom inner. I don't think I have to talk too much about this. This is a classic album through and through. Uh, just song for song for song, a really, really, really good album. And finally able to add it. Thank you so, so much, Marikin. I am so very happy to have this. I will link Marikin and Jay Nike's uh, channels in the description below. Please check them These out. These last couple have come in the mail as of today when I'm filming this. I'm a part of a great... A forum uh, that talks about a whole bunch of um, music and records and all that stuff. And we participated in a Secret Santa. So I just opened this package up earlier today. I'm very excited to show this. The, uh, the package and this awaits me. This is Phil Collins' No Strings Required. But it has the Grinch painted on it, hand painted. I ain't even mad. I love this. As soon as I opened this, I had a big old, this kind of grinchy smile on my face. It also helps that I absolutely love this album. It looks in pretty decent shape too. So um, even if it was kind of meant for filler, you know, or even it's just a, a kind of fun little funky thing to have, I love this. And <laughs> I'm down to my last outer sleeve. So it is getting christened with the last outer sleeve that I have to protect it. Because this is art. This is absolutely art. And I don't think I have to say anything about uh, No Strings Required because it is just a classic album through and through. So the main meat of everything that I had gotten, I got three records um, along with some other stuff. So the first one is uh, Abby Jean, Music Box Dancer. I have never heard of this artist, but uh, the notes that... The first one is Abby Jean, Music Box Dancer. Had not heard of this artist before, but just judging by the uh, the back, it's just, it looks right down my alley. It There's a lot of classic artists here on the back. And it looks like just a jukebox. And um, I had heard that this was a local artist to them that moved to New York City, or really New York. So very excited to check this out, but also threw in this seven inch. This is uh, a nice song for the naughty kids. Uh, the Isle of Misfit Toys. 
and I'm not even going to pronounce the B-side there, but this is my first tri-colored record. I'm very excited to, to check this out. I love Christmas music, but I'm even more excited because this is my first tri-colored record. Very, very excited for that. Along with that, it came with a very cool book of matches that is branded and it came with a sticker too. I absolutely love that. Uh, I'm not going to open that on camera. I, I'm having a big cleaning session. I'm just planning on that, especially because I don't have any more outer sleeves. So I'm going to have to wait to get some more, but uh, I just want to continue on. The next one is one that I don't know why I didn't have this in my collection for a while, but I'm very glad to have it. It's My Chemical Romance's The Black Parade. I love it. Sorry, this album speaks for itself. This, this is a classic, classic album through and through. I don't know why I don't have it until now. Actually, I was looking for it and it's been very, 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 very hard to find. So I'm very glad to add this to my collection show off very excited for this one uh, they touted this as their number one album for the year whomever sent me this I, I thank you for the bottom of my heart but uh, this is Alex the astronaut the theory of absolutely nothing so just from reading the information I am very very hyped about this I cannot wait to pop this on apparently it's on red wax too which I'm kind of cool excited to see that I don't mind when vinyl is colored, but if it's colored, great. If not, I like a standard black pressing just like everybody else. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you and your family, uh, whatever you define as family, had a wonderful holiday and have the wonderful and have a wonderful rest of the holiday season. I will be back with more videos in February of 2021. This mini hiatus serves a couple of purposes. One is January is the busiest month of the year for me. So I'm going to have barely any free time as it is. You saw all those records. I have all those records to listen to and eventually come back and talk about. But it's just give me time to kind of refresh, relax, rethink things. I also am going to be looking for a editing software. Uh, Marikin and I are also planning on bringing back the podcast as well. So I need some time to tinker and, and mess with that. So if you want to check out any of the current episodes of the podcast, they're going to be linked in the description below. Well, really the channel is. Go ahead and check that out. It is on break for now, but we will be back with new episodes starting in February. Fingers crossed. But it's just to give myself some time to really kind of refresh my brain, get things kind of together so I can put some really nice content out next year. I have a lot of plans for next year, uh, including my top 10 for the year. Um, telling stories about all of these pictures and this cool stuff behind me all the cool stuff in this record room you're going to hear about it eventually i'm kind of trying to to figure out what i want to do with that how i want to frame everything and kind of maybe f how i want to film it i need a little bit of time to think about that and i am slowly working on my top 100 albums it is taking me a long time but i'm being really methodical about it and then of course you know this year with all the chaos and everything i'm hoping to get that launched by hopefully end of next year so there's a lot of big plans for this channel. Keep an eye out. I will see you again in February. And until then, as I say at the end of everything that I'm in, when the waters get rough, please, please keep on sailing. Even if you feel like no one else believes in you, I believe in you. I am rooting for you. Even in this darkest of time, we are living in quite some dark times right now. And this is the season of hope for a lot of people. And I want to bridge that hope on to you. I hope wherever you are, you are loved you know that you are loved and you are worth it you are the only you in this universe and that is super special and until next time thank you so much for watching hope you have a wonderful new year take care